disruption and fear. Schools all across southeastern Wisconsin received a threat of an active shooter, but it was all a hoax. Our Spencer Tracy joining us live from Rufus King High School in Milwaukee, one of the many schools that got that call. Spencer. Hey, Mary, nine schools across southeast Wisconsin received that threat, including one in Madison as well as Green Bay. Now, I spoke to one student, Kenosha, as well as one right here at Rufus King, and they tell me it was a day of panic. One of the photos, you can see it. I was right next to the door. This is what Garrett McClary's classroom looked like on Thursday. I realized, oh, this is a real thing that's going on. We need to start barricading the door. From Sheboygan in Port Washington to Franklin in Kenosha, nine schools across southeast Wisconsin received an active shooter threat. We were able to confirm with uh, Milwaukee police that uh, these threats were false. They were fake. I had my phone with me. I contacted my mom first. Garrett's mom says it was nothing but terrifying. Immediately think, <laughs> did I hug him before he went to school? Did you, you know, did I say I love you enough? Is he going to be coming home? And I just hear Code Red, you know, getting your classroom. So I'm like, oh, oh, here we go. Milan Sanchez says she went through the same thing at Rufus King High School. Everyone was a little shaken. Got nervous thinking, is this going to be another Sandy hook? It was a massive threat that police say they found no evidence of an active shooter. But it's something officials aren't taking lightly. I want to see somebody be held accountable for pulling this prank off. Now, some school districts as well as some police officers have told me that they believe that this call came from overseas. So I reached out to FBI to see if they could confirm this. They said they are still investigating and are not exactly sure where the call came from. As soon as we learn that information, we will update you. For now, reporting live in Milwaukee tonight, I'm Spencer Tracy, Fox 6 News. All right, Spencer, thank you.